Good day. My name is Mark Malore. I'm an attorney here at the Malore Law Firm. I wanted to talk with you today about corporations and LLCs. I've had a number of uh, client inquiries from Lucerne Valley, some folks in Lucerne Valley, so I thought it helpful to put together a video presentation for you folks out there, talk with you about some of the distinctions and differences between them. There are two reasons we want to, two main reasons we want to form uh, either an LLC, a limited liability company, or a corporate entity. And that is personal liability insulation and uh, taxation or tax liability. So how do we know which to, to form? Well, we look at whatever business you're entering into, and depending on the type of business, there are certain entities that hold bigger tax credits for you. We want to talk to a CPA to set that up and, and get your particular business uh, tax affairs in order. Once we get that direction from the CPA, we're able to then enact a particular corporate entity for you. So let's assume you're in real estate, as many of my clients are. I find that uh, an LLC is a particularly advantageous, uh, from a tax perspective, entity to form for real estate purposes, and a number of my real estate investor clients do that. If it's not a real estate-based business, then perhaps a small uh, corporate entity is best uh, utilized for their purposes. With a corporation, you have two different types. You have a C corporation and an S corporation. Uh, there are other types of corporations, but those, uh, those are the ones that I uh, deal with mostly, unless it's a nonprofit or something like that. Uh, but what are the differences between C and S corporation? Well, one of the major differences is with respect to stockholders. In an S corporation, you can't have more than uh, 500 stockholders, and you can't have a corporate stockholder. Uh, be uh, a, a holder of stock in an S corporation. That's not the case with a C corporation. But probably the biggest reason for C versus S is related to taxation. And that is something that deals with the amount of taxation you receive. If you're a C corporation, you're subject to double taxation. An S corporation is taxed much like a partnership, so you have a singular uh, taxation. And how does that work? Well, with a C corporation, the corporation brings in income, it's taxed on that amount of income, it dilutes that to the shareholders, and then the shareholders pay tax on their income from the corporation, hence double taxation. With an S corporation, much like a partnership, the corporation receives money, it expenses that out with all its corporate expenses, and then divests itself of the remaining balance to its uh, shareholders, and then the shareholders pay tax on the K-1 that they file with their 1040, hence singular taxation. That's one of the big distinctions between the two and, and probably, I think, one of the, the biggest things that militates versus C versus S. Another distinction uh, between the two, uh, at least with respect to limited liability company and corporations, is that a corporation is governed by the corporation's code. It's statutorily uh, provided for by the legislature and it's governed by case law and so forth that deals with the particular issues that come up in interpreting the statutes. That's not the case with an LLC or a limited liability company. In a limited liability company, you'll come see an attorney like myself, and they'll set up what's called an operating agreement. The operating agreement is the governing document that uh, provides order and the running operation for how the business is to run. And the attorney sets that up based on the client's needs, particularized business, and so forth. And so the operating agreement is actually the formation document and what the entity runs itself by, unlike a corporation, which runs itself by statute. And then finally, a corporation has stock certificates. You hear about those on the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. And that's how a smaller corporation, an SRC, will run. You'll be issued stock certificates. But that's not the case with a, a limited liability company. You actually get member shares in the limited liability company rather than stock certificates. Some of the distinctions to be made between the two, uh, there are others uh, based on a particular business that you might be getting involved with. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to come in and make an appointment with me and I'd be happy to sit down with you and talk to you about those.